Hi, my name is Ian Herring, and I'm going to be coloring an interior page of Miss Marvel number 29. I have colored every main Miss Marvel book, and we're up to almost 50 now. It's just nice to see something new and like being there at the start. It's like I see it grow and change as it goes. I was scared of color when I first started being an artist and I kept it black and white entirely. And it wasn't until I started looking at a lot of painters and people that I like and just like, oh, I'll try that. So essentially I just stole other palettes and just used them for my own. And then I started to see what worked and what didn't work. It may seem difficult to create a palette, but a lot of it is just picking the right colors that you need to make the mood, looking at things you like and say, oh, I'd like to pull that off on this page. And just having a library in your head of what needs to look which way. And getting out of the way of just sort of, oh, grass is like straight green and sky is straight blue. You can have a lot more fun when you just let that go. When I get the flats back from my assistants, they're kind of like the secret weapon of a colorist. They block in the base colors. And then I start working on the rendering and the shading, getting the lighting right, and just figuring out what's needed. I reference the script a lot. A lot of the times I like to read the whole script before I even have the pages so I know what's coming. I like to do it in blocks, so I like to do scene by scene so that I can try to keep everything consistent and reference itself. For this page, other than her basic costume colors, which I actually play a lot with, I change the blues and the reds a lot depending on the scene, but it has to serve the page that's coming up. Otherwise, that page is going to be really out of place. Miss Marvel is really excited to draw because she's just stretching into every just angle. Her hair just is the most fun to paint and she's just full of so much joy. 